the next point. We should ensure that whatever we see is clear. That means work is being done and we can see that it is in opposite direction. Hello, my learners at home. You are welcome once again to another segment of the Kaduna State Ministry of Education, Radio, Television, e-learning. The subject remains literature in English for senior secondary one and two. The topic, understanding drama. Let's have a recap of what we did in our last lesson. If you remember, we treated unseen prose and poetry. And we said it is an aspect, a difficult aspect of literature. Why is it difficult? It is difficult because the student have not studied the lesson, but coming to the exam hall to see question on poetry and for us. And we were able to see the stages that are involved. For better understanding, there are stages that one needs to put into consideration. That is, you have to ask yourself some questions. Ask why the author writes. What are the reasons of his writing? From there, you'll be able to answer the questions correctly. For today's lesson, we are going to discuss on understanding drama, under which we are going to see the definition of drama and the different forms and futures in drama. Having discussed that, we are going, still going to discuss uh, an extract on unseen drama. Let's see the definition of drama. Drama, as you know, is a one of the genre of literature. So it is, uh, drama is a gene of literature which creates or recreates human experiences through dramatization. It is the representation of human action. It can occur on a build stage, motor park, and village square, or on a village pathway, in the case of communal celebrations and displays. The basic elements of drama. The basic elements of drama are plots, characters, actions, acts or scenes, and setting, while dialogue serves as its distinguishing style. Characters. Characters is one of the elements of drama. So characters are the persons that the playwright has created in the play, and they are referred to as dramatic personnel. Drama is all about persons in action. You must have characters in action. So you cannot have drama without characters. So there must be characters that will display the actions. For example, in Fences by August Wilson, Bono, Gabriel, and Albert are all important people in Troy's life. Bono is Troy's best friend. And through him, the reader learns that Troy is a very strong character. Through Gabriel, people can see some of the guilt Troy has inside. Albert helps Troy escape from his problems and have a few laughs once in a while. These are all characters created to express opinions or issues raised in the play. The exchange of the opinions is referred to as dialogue. Forms of drama. If we're talking about forms of drama, we are talking about structure, what makes up the drama. So we have 
many structures, but for this lesson, we are taking but a few. One, comedy. This is a light-hearted play which ridicules or sterilizes the follies of the characters out of which emanates laughter while the events lead to a happy ending. The main features of comedy is humor. The main forms are first, belly, and satire. We have examples in Soika's novel, The Lion and the Joel, Corbina's case novel, The Blinkers, and Oliver Goldsmith's She Stooped to Conquer. Tragedy. This is another element of drama. This form of drama is usually regarded as the opposite of comedy because it is a drama whose atmosphere is often serious and tense with an unhappy ending, often involving death. In tragedy, the protagonist, who is often a highly placed personality, is entangled in the struggle or conflict which leads to his ruin or disappointment. I remember when we were kids, protagonist will say actor, but he's known to be a protagonist. We are sad that he is ruined in the end because of his or her heroic qualities. King, queen, prince, admirable fellows, and etc. The most important feature of tragedy is the sadness, pathos, or depth of feelings which the play is able to evoke and which purge us of our emotions. Examples are Macbeth by William Shakespeare, King Emene by Zulu Sofala, Kurumi by Ola Rotimi, and Hard Choice by Sonny Ododo, and other novels we have all these as showing characters in a or tragedy in a play. Domestic tragedy. Domestic tragedy is another form of tragedy. It retains all the basic elements of tragedy, but differs in its setting. The main characters are middle class people and their downfall takes place without a family relationship. In classical forms of tragedy discussed earlier, the characters are great personalities, like kings, generals, and princes, we are as in a domestic tragedy. The characters are ordinary folks. Tragic comedy. It is a play that combines elements of tragedy and comedy. It has a serious turn and series of tense moments, but events in the play end on a note of relief. A good example is The Merchants of Venice by William Shakespeare. First, this is a type of drama characterized by broad visual effects, fast-moving action, and funny little things. It has top character whose actions, that is as carpets, lead them to the brink of disaster. Examples of first are the comedy of Eros by William Shakespeare, the wizard of law, by Zulu Sofala, Holding Talks by Ola Rotimi, Melodrama. This is another light-hearted comic play in which credulity is changed, is challenged by the nature of the action. It highlights suspense and romantic sentiments with characters who are usually 
either clearly good or clearly bad. As the name implies, this form of drama often uses a musical background to underscore or highlight or heightened the emotional tune of a scene. For example, Bernard Shaw's Arms and the Man and Christopher Malos, the Jew of Malta. Closet drama. This terms refers to a literary composition which takes the form of a play but is not meant to be performed on stage. A closest drama is meant to be studied privately in a closet. Having seen the forms of drama, we are moving into the futures of drama. And we have so many futures in drama, but for this lesson, we are taking but a few. One, characters who are known to be figures. These are the persons through whom the playwright communicates to us, the readers or audience, his ideas. The personality and image of a character is assessed through what he says and does and what other characters say about him. Characterization. Characterization is the process. If we say characters are the persons, characterization are the process. So, of creating characters and adorning them with certain positive attributes or vices. This can be physical or attitudinal. Dialogue, that is conversation. It refers to the exchange of ideas and opinions in a play between two or more characters. It is one of the elements of drama and is a verbal element because it has to do with oral conversation. Monologue. This is another future of drama. It is a long speech by one actor. It is when a character speaks all about himself and of his words are actually addressed to some absent fellow characters. Such a scene is actually a mini drama because the actor will be enacting the presence and even participation of other people. Plot. This is the sequential arrangement of events in a creative work. Playwrights often focus on the development of their plot from a beginning through the middle to the end. Cast. This is a list of selected participants for performance with specific roles to play. That is, in a play, there are characters. These characters are given roles to play. For you to be able to have your characters well taking the role play, there is, must be casting, where you give each character his or her role. Playwright. This is the writer of a piece of drama or play. Conflict. This term refers to the bone of contention, the point of difference, and so the basic of action between and among characters in a play. It involves the protagonist in their reverie and struggle for assertion of influence or relevance. Soliloquy. It is a device in drama or novel which allows a character to engage in a loud self-talk for the reader or audience to have access to what is 
in his or her mind. That is telling us the audience, it is only the audience that, or the readers that will see the mind of the character. He tells us what he having in mind. Having seen the forms and structures of futures of drama, we are going to take unseen drama, which we know that it is not going to be studied in the class, but a student or the students will have to see it for this paper. So we have an extract here that we will read and then answer questions. That is a sample question on unseen drama. We have an extract here. No B. You know there are characters in drama. And we have characters and the words that characters say. No B. We subdue agitation. Ogugua, my son, listen to me. The rat did not fall from the ceiling without a curse. The king moves fast to the throne and throws himself on it in a sitting position. He is very disturbed. I suffered in my childhood with a poor mother of 12 children. I saw my mother cry bitterly night and day when she had no food for her hungry children. I could not bear this. So I started praying very early for a better life. My prayers were answered. Your father married me. My fortune and that of my children changed. I promised myself then never to return to those miserable days. King stands up suddenly. OJ to the uneasy king. Sit still for a moment, king. What moment? I now face the wrath of man and God, and you ask me to sit for a moment? Let me be. No, be. It happened that you were born the second son. This worried me very much. I decided that it was better to be king than brother of the king. So I did the deed. Never did I foresee this. This extract is from Zulu Sofala, King Emene. The questions now. Judging from the conversation in the extract above, so I did the deed means what? So there are options here where we are going to see the options and then the correct answer to the options. A. Nobi arranged the installation of her sons as the king. B. Nobi killed the king so that, her, so that he can become the king. Nobi murdered the first son for her son to become the king. No, D. Nobi loves her second born more than her first and wished the first dead. Looking at the options given, the correct answer there is C. Nobi murdered the first son for her second son to become the king. Question two, why is he uneasy? The options A, because he is guilty of an offense. B, because he wants to know why man and God are against him. C, because OJ turns him to anger. D. Because he has seen the face of God in a man. The correct answer there is B. Because he wants to know why man and God are against him. Question number three. How would you describe the character of Nobi in this extract? A. She is treacherous. B, she is greedy. C, she is wicked. D, she is overambitious. The correct answer there is B, she is greedy. Number, question number four. 
The rug did not fall from the ceiling without a cause. Means A, without a firm grip, the rug will always fall from the ceiling. B, without courage, one cannot overcome his or her predicament. C, there is always a reason for every action. D, when a problem is serious, it pulls down the person involved. The correct answer there is C, there is always a reason for every action. Question number five. What is the name of the king? What is the name of the king? A. Ogugua. B. Ojei. C. Nobi. D. Not given. If you look at the options given, the correct answer there is A. Ogugua. Haven't seen the definition of drama, and then the various forms and futures, I believe that any time you have question on the futures or to discuss about the futures or form, you will be able to do it well. There is an extract. You are going to read. I will read the extract for you, then read the questions. There are options given. You are to read the extract. Choose the correct answer from the options given. I'll read the passage. The instruction goes this way. Read the passage carefully and answer the questions that follow. Read the passage carefully and answer the questions that follow. The passage now. Edufa, what do you want, I say? can come with terrible self-control, the life of your wife and Poma from you. Edufa, very nervous. And you mean by that? Can come only stares at him. What makes me keeper of her life? Can come marriage and her innocence, love. A chilly pause. Oh, I know it's all. Edufa, you cannot hide behind impudence and lies. Not with me. Diviners are there for all of us to consult. Edufa winces. And deeds done in secret can, by the same process, be brought to light. Edufa, you know nothing. Diviners, ho! Oh, diviners, what have diviners got to do with me? Can come that you must tell me I believe in their ancient art. I know, at least, that Ampoma is sick and could die. It has been revealed to me that she could die. And why? That you might live. Now the questions. Listen to the questions carefully. Get a sheet of paper and write the questions. What is the technical term for all the statements put in brackets in the extracts above? What is the technical term for all the statements put in brackets in the extract above? A. Action profile. B. Stage direction. C. Character description. D. Reading guide. Question number two. 
The exchange between these two characters can be described as uh, A, an, A, soliloquy, B, monologue, C, dialogue, D, aside. Three, a do first actions and response to Kan Kan's question indicates that he is dash. A do first actions and response to Kan Kan's questions indicates that he is A, innocent, B, true, C, trustworthy, D, reliable, E, guilty. Question number three. Where can we locate the dramatic conflict of this extract? Where can we locate the dramatic conflict of this extract? A. Kakam's demand for the life of Ampoma from Edufa and his denial. B. Ampoma's illness. C. The switch of Edufa's lifespan with that of Apoma. D. Kakam's anger. Question number five. What is Kakam's sole mission in the extract? A. To express his love for Apoma. B. To reveal the state of health of Apoma. C. To set Apoma against a Dufa. D. To expose the secret evil deed of a Dufa. Having taken the assignments, before I go, I remain A.Y. Rickson. In case you want to meet me or call me to submit your assignments, you can do that through my number 080-8397-3465. I'll take it again. 080-8397-3465. Stay safe, keep learning till we meet in our next lesson. Goodbye for now.